that says a lot about Melanie, a lot more than I could express because actions is what make people special. And she was the best. I'm just gonna cry. I now. just, I, I'm gonna cry, Julie. I'm gonna cry. Um, <laughs> like, hey, how's it going? Good. good. How are you? I'm good. I'm good. Oh my god, your hair always looks amazing. Uh, your hair always looks amazing. You have gorgeous hair. Look at us with our amazing hair. Yeah. <laughs> well, I just blew it out this morning, so. <laughs> um. Well, you're killing it. It's great. Hey, I uh, pulled mine out of a ponytail. So here we are. <laughs> Where are you in the world right now? I am in LA. I am, this is where I self-tape. Hello. Hi. Hello. We have you. You are here. Yay. What's up? How's Hi. it going? So good to see you. How are you? Good to see you both. All is good. Thanks. What about you guys? Good. I where just... are you? Yeah. Where are you in the world? I'm in uh, the north of Italy in a mountain. I just arrived. Uh, you don't want to see my setup for this interview. I'm <laughs> literally standing in the on the floor, but it's the only precise point where my connection is okay. In the other part of the room, I have zero connection, so I have to be in this spot. Yeah. Well, that's but fine. All is good. You look great. You're coming in great. And I'm honestly happy to chat with the two of you today. I was just messaging with Tosca and talking to Melanie. And I'm like, I feel like I've chatted with you guys like five, six, seven times. And I'm a little sad. This is going to be like our last Zoom for the Gabriel's films. And honestly, just like the number one question from everyone is and me, what is it like just coming full circle now that this chapter's closing and that the last film is coming out next week and like that this chapter in your life is closing. Mel, I'll begin with you. What is it like that this is this is finally it? I think it's pretty sweet. Yeah. I think, um, you know, it's been such a massive journey and such a big like portion over a long time of our, our life in the last four years. So um, exciting, you know, when you actually come to completion with something, but also like, this has been a really magical time, particularly with the people that I got to meet and the places we got to go. And um, this guy here, mainly. That, that's the thing that's most, I'll be most sad about, not, not seeing that face anymore. Aww. On the regular. On the regular, well, I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm very, I'm very uh, sad that Melanie uh, feels this way because it's uh, not mutual. I'm <laughs> quite happy not to see her again. And uh, so? not to work with her again. <laughs> um, <laughs> it's, 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 it's every it's interview. <laughs> <laughs> we we have this um, kind of Tom and Jerry uh, vibe between us all the time, but um, it's 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 quite yeah it's it's sad in a way or another. Uh, you know, it's almost, uh, I would say, almost four, I would say, no, yeah, 40 years of our lives. Yeah. And uh, um, I was actually looking at a picture of myself uh, the first time I was doing Gabriel. And I was like, wow, I was such a baby. Because actually mm. time has passed. And, and in the meantime, we had so much stuff, so much stuff going on, like, you know, uh, COVID and yeah. all these big, big events that somehow, you know, uh, put dots in every year and every moment of those years but uh, working with these people was a truly a blessing I'm incredibly lucky that I had the chance to work with Melanie and Tosca and all the people all the crew all the cast of this movie we really it was really like being in a family and uh, it's nothing um, it's not really something that an actor can experience each time it's quite it's quite unusual to be honest I've been I've done this job for like 22 years and it happens to me a couple of times. So wow. I was really happy. I was, I was really lucky. And I think we are really lucky that um, this is not for promotional purposes. We really have a great um, chemistry and especially a great relationship uh, also outside of the, outside of the plot, outside of the, of the story, outside of our characters and, 
and it's it's really remarkable and i'm very it's it's kind of as melanie said it's bitter and sweet you know in a way it's a release because of course it's a long long process but it's basically 10 percent release 90 percent sadness oh so there's something sort of when you do one of these really big projects over a number of years um even when it's finished it's like there's an invisible string that forever ties you to the people like to Julio and Tosca and that, you know, never gets broken because you've created this thing together that now exists. And you've had all these, like, we had the most amazing experiences and at times exhausting and harrowing. Like we went through mortal together, really. Like we <laughs> really, um, sometimes it was like ridiculous. We got really sick. Yeah. Um, but it, it's incredible <laughs> and, and, and it's forever. Yeah. it ties you forever no i i love that you guys both yeah. put it like so beautifully even like when i look back at the picture when i first interviewed you guys i'm like i look like a baby like four years ago i'm curious do you remember the very first scene the two of you filmed as julia and gabriel and the very last scene that you filmed so we um yeah absolutely we started with the orchard which is the flashback so yeah. we started with the very first meeting wow and we ended with the very last page of the book of redemption of, of that scene wow so there's there's this yeah. beautiful um full circle synergy to our beginning and um ending scenes which i really love that i find that very pleasing I love that. Yeah, one of my favorite scenes in this film is when Gabriel is telling Julia he will do whatever he can to help her succeed in her career professionally, help raise the baby. And just like the emotions between the two of you in that scene was just so raw and real and really beautifully done. Julio, take me back to filming that scene with Melanie because that was easily one of my favorite scenes because you don't see that a lot, even from like a male lead in a romance film. Um, and it was just so beautifully done here. Yeah, um, it was quite quite funny because, of course, um, you guys see Melanie as Julian, but she's sometimes not really like Julian. And between takes, she was telling me, I don't need your help, by the way. I can do this by myself just because I want you to know, but I can go back in my character. <laughs> so she, it was it was quite funny, but... Oh, my God. Um, we really have... <laughs> she I'm, we're really lucky and i was really lucky to have her as a as a companion in this journey um sometimes we we talked about how a nightmare could have been this with a different you know uh with different people around because of course four years it's 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 an enormous amount of time think about when you started as a kid at six years old and then 10 years old those four years is huge and in a filming area in a filming uh, process it's even bigger because of course it's very intense every day 10 12 hours a day it's it's an it's a huge amount of time and um i think we both grew up a lot we both help each other as as an artist um as human beings and uh having those moments it was quite um, it was quite strange and real and, and incredibly uh, uh, interesting at the same time because we were actually talking to each other like Melanie and Julia while uh, we were at, of course playing Gabriel and, and Julia but but it was it was very um, honest all the time most of the time our, our dialogues are honest yeah I love that. And coming um, back to what you said, uh, Lauren, about that scene, that's actually my favorite scene in this piece. Um, oh, wow. And, and I think I, I agree with you. Um, having uh, the male um, partner going, I will do whatever is necessary so that you can succeed and do what you want. And I will like hold this with you and support you. Like, that's very sexy. It is. It's, um, 
<laughs> very pro that everyone supportive partners <laughs> yes I'm like we I'm like please let's have more of that you know after after spending hours and hours with these characters finally seeing Julia pregnant what, did, what was it like acting with the pregnancy belly was it uncomfortable like did it really just help you get into character for her for those scenes well it's both it's definitely not comfortable um <laughs> it actually gets quite sweaty because it's like prosthetic um and underneath it's like and it weighs a decent amount and <gasps> um I'm not a very tall person, um, if anyone's noticed that. Uh, and so it, I kind of, I looked like all my aunts looked when they were pregnant. Like you have this sort of like cocktail onion on a toothpick look, like you might topple over. Um, so definitely not comfortable, definitely helpful in feeling that. Yeah. Um, and I guess um, all, all the stuff about the pregnancy, the, the terror, the, what's this going to do to my life and my future and all of that and then also the you're doing the ultimate collaboration with the person you love uh so all those things oh I'm curious did you guys take anything from set of Julia or Gabriel's or like a costume piece or anything like that as like a commemorative item from set Julio did you take anything I have no idea, you know, that after I had COVID three times, I don't remember a single thing after a couple of months. So, <laughs> <laughs> so I guess, uh, <laughs> but jokes apart, uh, I think I got something, but I, I'm not sure. Did you get the Tesla? Well, I have a... <laughs> well, that one, please. No, 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 unfortunately not. But um, I have a blanket. And this blanket is um, it's from the set. And uh, Tom, my acting coach and actually dial coach, mm -hmm. um, decided to write on the blanket, bring it up as a bring up, B-R-I-N-G-A. Because I was not able in the very beginning to say, bring the blanket. And I was saying, bring it the blanket. And, uh, <laughs> and so, so I have this very nice blanket. Uh, um, <laughs> which is exactly the same of the, the apple orchard. And I have an apple on it and a word says bring up. And I think you add that to Melody, right? I do. Um, I yeah. also took uh, this that sort of uh, pale pink dress from the orphanage. I was like, this is a good summer oh, dress. Can I have this? <laughs> like, yeah, I oh, wow. so well, yeah, I Wow. Yeah, I have a couple of shirts. I had a couple of shirts and t-shirts and stuff, but nothing really that I can remember as special as that thing that 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 uh, Tom gave us gave to us. Because of course, uh, it was the very beginning, it was the first movie, the first part of the first movie, and he made it. They made it. Uh, he and, uh, and Kate also made it, and and it was really something special that I that I have it, uh, you know, in my heart and in my wardrobe as well. But I want to say something uh, about what you just asked before. Um, yeah, having someone like Man I Need to Work With is incredible. And I have to say that even though right now we are in a moment where it's very important, I would say, for um, men in general to uh, somehow uh, let people, let women woman uh, uh, do what they want in a way that of course uh, this as a uh, took as to can is sorry let me rephrase it because of course uh sometimes i can <laughs> fuck up with words <laughs> but basically in in italy we have a very delicate moment and i'm pretty sure that this is all over the world where uh, you know the the, the the somehow women are changing a lot of a lot of habits okay so uh, we we're, we're going through a moment where uh we're coming from a moment where uh, sometimes women were related just to do a very little things in society and now of course we want to have them to be able to express their talents feelings and everything they want so basically fulfill their dreams which might not be just raising a kid or just having a good work um but i have to say that on the other hand on the other way around um 
is very important. And I was very lucky to have someone like Melanie, which is a girl, which is a woman, which is a very strong independent woman, uh, to also being able to support me as a as a lead of that movie and as a as a lead from another country, which of course is Italy. I had some issues with the language, especially especially regarding the accent in the very beginning. And and she was always there and she was working twice as much because she wanted to help me. And that is something that I will never forget and that I will be thankful for the rest of my life to Melanie because of course it is absolutely something not then I don't give it for granted and it was not granted and that says a lot about Melanie a lot more than I can express because actions is what make people special and she was the best I'm just gonna cry I just <laughs> I, I'm gonna cry Julie I'm gonna cry um, no, like for much. real it's so um, but seriously um uh our first Skype together, uh, we both sort of admitted that this felt huge and terrifying. And we agreed that we were going to have each other's back, be in each other's corner. And um, that's what happened for four years. And I am so grateful to have worked with someone um, who I could trust and uh, who was like a real partner during this process, which was, huge and over a lot longer time than we thought it was going to be because of COVID and I feel exceedingly grateful. I love that. I mean, every time I travel I remember that. with you as you guys are each other's biggest fans and it definitely comes through on screen beautifully and that's why all of us fans love the films. What were you going to say, Julio? Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. We're, no, we we're really lucky and I have to say that I remember the first time that I saw Melanie beside the Skype call, I was actually in Syracuse and she was trying to get some water out of the fridge. And uh, and she was, we were just arrived. She was pretty exhausted, I guess. She was coming from yeah, Australia. Like... Wow. She didn't expect, yeah, yeah, you remember that? And she didn't expect me to see me there. And she was like, oh, I was right. like, no. Uh, okay, uh, bye. And she flew. <laughs> And she flew away and I didn't see her for like a couple of days after that. And then I saw her again at the readings and, but we got along very well. And, and I would say that again, we had, we really had our backs through uh, the four years. And, and I think that's why also fans love this movie, because of course, when you have a story like Julian and Gabriel, um, there's a sparkle that sometimes it's in the book, but not necessarily it comes alive in the screen. And I have to say that the trust, the level of trust and confidence, and of course, uh, support that we have with each other and the respect that we have with each other um, was incredibly uh, rare. And I would say that that's the reason why people love this movie so much. And I'm, I'm thankful for that. And I'm thankful for the fans in the world because of course also part of this is because of them and uh and they were really supportive and all from the very beginning you know this might come to an end we we still don't know if we're going to do maybe another chapter there's there's a possibility we're we're we're, we're talking about it um but we don't know actually um might might be yes might be not i don't know but definitely um, was um, an incredible journey inside and outside our character and of course uh, the entire community of fashion flicks was pure totally. rock and roll um, and I have to say thank you to all these people like welcoming warm um, enthusiastic audience like we're so lucky I know so many people who, who work in a myriad of projects who do not have the sort of loving supportive encouraging community that is the fashion flicks community and i'm so grateful um that they are our fans um yes yeah no i love that because yeah, i definitely yes, I, yes. I love the fandom for this and for the two of you you had you asked us if we took something from set i had to buy another luggage to, <laughs> to get all the gift that i have from the fans back in syracuse and back in atlanta to take all the stuff back to Rome. 
because the level of things that I had in my room was like a, it was huge. I had to buy another a huge luggage. Oh my so, god, yeah. what a cool story! Yeah, no, I love that. So many gifts, Melanie. Is there another like dream literary character that you would want to play in the future? Oh, oh my goodness! Like. I could see, I want to see you in like a period piece, like a Jane Austen or something like Look, that. I'll take pretty much any Austen. Yeah. Any Austen. Um, uh, wow, that's a really good question. I, look, I love a period piece. I love a cape. Um, I love anything <laughs> with um, uh, a high language. Um, I love anything Edwardian and Gothic. Yeah. Um, so if anyone's listening, hit me up. Julio, for you, what would be yeah, exactly. you have like a dream litter, another like literary character or like even like a, maybe a real life person that you would want to play for a future project? Well, I would love to work with Edward Zwick. If there's a way to have his attention, I don't know if you know the guy, it's the guy from The Last Samurai. I love his uh, cinematic language so much. But in general, I would love to work with Fashion Fix as well in the future if, if there's... Chance. I would love to work with Melanie again, and of course, I would love to do a period piece. I, I actually, we talked to Tosca about it, and um, uh, many times we talked about the fact that we would, it would be so cool to have, uh, you know, period piece for Passion Flicks and probably, you know, work with some of the leads of other, even stories of Passion Flicks could be very, very interesting. But I mean, we're actors, so as long as they give us a chance we will do our best and hope there will be many in the future what was the last day like on set when you wrapped this this last part and i know you guys kind of filmed everything out of order but what was just it like to kind of complete these characters on film was it i'm sure it was bittersweet as well but take me back to that day mel before we leave oh yeah bittersweet definitely the word um, I think the thing that got me was um, Dennis was shedding a tear and no. that just sent me. Don't say it. It sent me. Oh, I gosh. was like, Dennis, my heart. He's an incredible cinematographer. Incredible. incredible person. Why do you steal my memories all the time? Why? <laughs> Why? Why? That That's was what me. I just do. I, was I come at night it. and suck them out. <laughs> <laughs> Um, yeah, yeah. Having, having Dennis crying on set was everything. Oh. And uh, I remember Tosca saying, uh, and this is the last scene of Gabriel. And that's a wrap. And and uh, you remember that? And, and oh, I yeah. saw Dennis and, she, and, and he was crying. And Melanie was actually, it was a very tough day for Melanie. She, she, she spent the entire day in the bed kind of sleeping and I was the I only did have one to acting give birth from the though, very beginning. So yeah, six of one. Come on. You in, know. The, in the very last part of the movie of the scene and it's not that difficult. Come on. Everybody can do that. So <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if I can. I don't know if everyone could. <laughs> Technically, no. Well well I mean okay, let's not open that chapter. Anyway, <laughs> um so anyway, um, yeah, it was 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 very much um, was an incredible journey, and I would say that the very last day of it was um, the the realization of the fact that it was it, it was over in that moment, and also I have spent another extra day in Atlanta because she flew the day after, the morning after, and I flew two days after. And that day in Atlanta, all by myself, was the, one of the saddest day of my life. I was just walking around. I was like, Tom, there's no Tom. Mel, there's no Mel. Tosca, there's no Tosca. There was nobody there. And But anyway, I'm grateful that we're here. I'm grateful the fans love it. And we are so overwhelmed with the love of the fans that 
to me, it seems that it's just never ended. It's we're we're still there, and uh, you know, people are waiting so much for the for this part that is, that will be released very soon, and it's so good. I saw it, and I love it very much, and they're gonna love it so much. So I um, can't wait to have their reaction. You know, can't wait to see their messages and and their feelings. <laughs> I can't wait for the fans to see it as well. And I I love what you both said about the fans and Passion Flicks. And of course, I would love to see the two of you in any other project together, whether it be with Passion Flicks or another film. And of course, I hope this is not the last time we chat. And I would always be happy to chat with the two of you for any of your future projects. You two have always been so kind to me and I've always appreciated that. Like I said, I think this is our seventh or eighth time chatting. I, I don't even know. And it's really been just beautiful to see the two of you in these roles and just how you've grown as actors and as people and as humans, you know, in person and on screen. And again, I just can't thank you enough for everything that you've given me and the fans and the world with these beautiful movies. Oh, thank you so much, Lauren. It's, it's always a delight to speak to you. You're such a good interviewer. Oh, I'm so glad. I'm so glad. I'm happy to chat with the two of you anytime. And I'll always miss our chats, you know, with Gabriel's. And because I think, you know, I started chatting with you guys and it was like one of my first Zoom interviews ever back in 2020. So I will always cherish that and always love chatting with you guys and wish you both the absolute very, very best. Thank, Thank you very much. much. Thank you. Thank Same you. to you. Thank you. It was lovely to chat with you again. You too. Ciao, Lauren. Ciao. Bye, Bye Mel. Bye, Julio. Bye.